Hello everyone. If you're using the iPhone 16 Pro Max and finding it tough to access the top of the screen with one hand, I'm here to help. In this video, I'll demonstrate how to activate reachability, a feature that lowers the screen for easier one-handed use. It's really simple and ideal for that purpose. Let's get started. The very first steps is, I will explain to you what reachability is. Reachability is a feature that helps you lower the screen on your iPhone so you can easily access the top part of the screen with one hand. This is especially handy if you're using a larger iPhone or have small hands. Now step two is enable reachability in settings. First, we need to make sure reachability is turned on. Here's how you can do it. Open the settings app on your iPhone. Scroll down and tap on accessibility. Under the physical and motor section, tap touch. Now, toggle on the option for reachability. See? Once you turn it on, you're ready to lower the screen anytime you need. Step 3 is lower the screen using reachability. Now that reachability is enabled, here's how to use it to lower the screen if your iPhone 16 has Face ID and no home button. Simply swipe down on the bottom edge of the screen, just above the dock. This will lower the top of the screen so you can reach it with one hand. If your iPhone still has a home button, Double tap, don't press, the home button lightly, and the screen will slide down. Here's what it looks like, see how the screen lowers. Now, I can easily reach the top without using two hands. Step 4 is use one hand to reach the top of the screen. For example, let's say you're browsing Safari and need to tap a link or button at the very top of the screen. Instead of awkwardly stretching your thumb or using your other hand, just swipe down to activate reachability. Now you can tap the link comfortably. Here, I'll tap this link at the top of Safari with ease, all thanks to reachability. And that's it. With reachability on your iPhone 16, you can lower the screen and easily reach the top using just one hand. It's such a useful feature, especially if you have a bigger iPhone. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more iPhone tips and tricks. Got questions? Drop them in the comments below, and I'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.